welcome. I'm Tony Johnson, head football coach at Bethany College and the offensive line coach as well. I'm going to talk to you today about offensive line skills and drills. I've been fortunate to be an offensive line coach for over 11 years, serving under Dennis Francione at TCU, Richard Cundiff at Texas A&M, and many other stops along the way. I've got to give thanks to a few men who've helped me become the coach I am today. Obviously, Coach Fran has been a big influence and a big help in my life. Keith Allen, uh, my student assistant Steve Tapley, who's here here today helping us out, Troy Baumgartner, who's here today helping us out, and Mike Redwine, the head coach at Howard Payne University, who also helped me out along my career. Today, in the video, we've got some young men today that are going to help us out. First off, we have Mike. Come on in here, Mike. Mike Sloan, Austin, Texas, Crockett High School. All right, big Mike. We've got Cameron. Cameron Gills, John Tyler High School, Tyler, Texas. We got Bubba. Uh, Bubba Doherty, Conference Cove High School. We got Big Lou. Louis Gakey, Trinity High School. And we've got Rudy. Michael Rudwick, Conference Cove, Texas, B Conference Cove High School. And today we've got Chad Hitt as well. Chad Hitt, Willow Hills, California, Taft High School. First thing we're going to start off with is the basic fundamentals of a stance. And when you're in a stance, the stance I like to teach the most is a stance where your feet are shoulder width apart. You get your feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly going forward, but yet slightly turned out. In the old days, they always wanted your toes forward. It didn't allow us to move in the different positions that we need to move today in today's game of football. So what I like to do is start out with our feet slightly turned out just a little bit, shoulder width apart. And I tell our offensive linemen to squat down like they're catching a baseball game. Just the basic starts of an offensive line stance. Squat down. Put your hand out as far as you can. We talk about putting all fingers in the ground. We don't put a three-finger tripod. We don't put a two-finger. We don't put our fist. We put our whole hand in the ground, and we raise our butt up ever so slightly, and we put our off hand on the knee here, and I'll explain why we do that in a minute. We're in a nice balanced stance, again, with our toes slightly turned out. In this stance, we've got to be able to move in eight different directions, and I'm going to go over those eight different directions here in a second, and then we'll have a player demonstrate. But out of this stance, I'm nice and comfortable. I have a nice flat back. My knees are comfortable. I'm in a good stance. I could sit in this position all day. My offhand, again, is cupping my knee. Chad will go ahead and step in here and demonstrate the stance as well. Notice, again, you've got a nice flat back. Head is bowed back. He's looking through his eyebrows with his eyes. He's got all fingers on the ground. Toes are slightly turned out, not too bad. If I walk up behind, Chad and, and bump him, he's not going anywhere. This is how I can tell an offensive lineman's in a good stance. He doesn't shake, he doesn't move, he's ready to go. Okay, Chad, relax. One of the things in that stance and why we do this, we put this offhand here because we don't want to get any wasted movement. So here I am in this stance, I'm nice and comfortable, I can move in eight different directions. Why, why my hand is here, I need to go ahead and talk about that, is a lot of times Coaches teach that hand right here in front of the face, and that forces us, when we take that six-inch power step, to bring this hand all the way back, which is wasted movement. We want to go ahead and come from our stance, like this, with our six-inch power step, have both hands here ready to fire in our holsters, as I call them. I tell our football players, have your hands in your holsters ready to fire. From here, after we've taken that six-inch power step, we can come forward with our second step and punch. Again, you cannot punch until both feet are on the ground. Chad, go ahead and get set. Just go through the first step, take a six inch power step. Set, hit, there you go, perfect. Go back and get in a stance again. Set, hit, perfect. Now put it together. Set, hit, right there. He has executed an excellent first, second, and third step to this stance. Go ahead and relax. As I said again, when you're in this stance, you've got to be able to move eight directions, especially in our offense. In this stance, the first direction I've got to be able to take is a lead step forward. Boom, right there, there's one. If I were to take the left step, if I was in a left-handed stance, that would be two. A zone step, three. The other zone step, four. A bucket step, five. A bucket step, six. Pass step, seven. Pass step, eight, okay? And that's not even putting into the position pulling and getting down the line for teams that run counter tray and do a lot of pulls. What I've done now is I've brought in all the offensive linemen that are here today to help us out with the stance. As you can see, again, they're in an evenly distributed weight. Okay, they can get up and stand up. They can pass block. They can run block. Their weight is evenly distributed. Okay, notice that on these offensive linemen, their toes are slightly out. They're not pointing forward. 
Their knees are knock kneed in. The knees being knock kneed in helps us get on power angles quickly so that we can move in any direction. I talked about those eight different directions. These guys can go in any direction. If you'll notice the stance, butt is slightly raised, okay? Some more than others. They're in a nice power position, ready to move. Hand is on the knee, ready to throw. Okay, guys, relax, kick it up, turn it around. I'll show you again from the back side. This is what it looks like from the back. Okay, knees slightly knock knee in, toes slightly out, nice power position, not going to knock anybody over. These guys are ready for battle today, and this is a great stance and a great start to an offensive lineman. Okay, guys, relax. One of the things we have to talk about when you're coaching the offensive line is splits. It's very important that you're getting the right split. For us, we have three calls. There are three favorite ladies, Norma, Tammy, and Wilma. Norma is a normal split. It's our code word for normal. It's a two and a half split between the guard and the center. Right there is where his, his left foot ought to be. And it's a three foot split between the guard and the tackle. That's our normal split. When you're in a normal type of split, you're running power football, you're running off tackle football, that's the kind of stuff you're doing. And so Norma is our favorite woman that we call out when we run this play. If we want a tighter split, we call Tammy. If you get into a tighter split, you're probably running toss sweep, you're probably running an outside zone play where you need to get to the outside quickly. Those splits come down quite a bit. They're about one and a half foot split between the center and the guard and about two and a half between the guard and the tackle. Same for the tight end over here on the end and Mike. So those are the three uh, types of splits we use at our place and the three splits I believe that help your offense. So you can run outside, inside, and I forgot Wilma. Wilma's the wide split for those of those teams that run uh, trap, a lot of trap, a lot of midline option. They would be in a Wilma split and that is a huge split and that's a three foot split between the, the center and the guard and a three and a half between the guard and the tackle. And it may look abnormal, but believe me, you see some great teams and some great coaches that have used that split. So Norma, Tammy, and Wilma are the three names of the ladies we use as code words to get us in those types of splits when we run our football. 